Mass from across the room and your friends bad, but you the baddest. Might as well be an actress. We can head back to my place. Make a flick on that mattress. You got tree, I'll match it. What they do, it's your boy Flo. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the patch notes for the upcoming Borderlands Strife update. Uh, the update will be released tomorrow 2 a.m. through 6 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. through 11 a.m. at GMT time. It is on October 13th, which is tomorrow, of course, uh, Thursday. Now, let's take a look at the patch notes. If you guys don't want to see the patch notes and you already know the patch notes, uh, you can skip to this amount of time. I'm going to be putting it uh, in letters right about now. And you will eventually skip to make the gameplay of a couple of the new factors to all that are being included now let's get started the number one is two new playable heroes which is cecilia torek and sip um new faction territory to borderlands um four brand new mounts this is super cool Vrampus hellworm uh, green fang and bone chomper a new faction battle mode 20 versus 20 i'm guessing this faction battle mode is going to be um i hope it is server side i'm not too sure please don't comment in this i'm just guessing giving my best guess uh, hopefully it is of all servers and you just killed or something like that that would be pretty sick i'm not too sure though so come in a new battlefield mode capture the flag it's going to be a three versus three match basically you're going to be getting battle points from that that sounds really really cool it's pretty cool i really like that new talent system for players level 45 and above so this is basically like the enchantment system that we just got uh, not too long ago or the blood war system but instead, you know, we're going to get talent system. That's going to be really cool. That's going to boost us up in might as well. So then really looking forward to that. Two new military ranks added. Great general and grand general. That sounds really nice because I am capped out in my blood war event. So hopefully now I can get more points for um, my blood war. That sounds really awesome. New altar system. This is really cool. If you guys want to um, know more about this, you should continue watching the video because I will have a something important about this later on in a video all new single button shard synthesis i don't know what that i mean i know what it is but it's not something that you know that's really uh too important it's something that you know we could all guess that it's uh, you know let me just skip to the next one all new battlefield quick queued uh, all new warriors road i'm not too sure what this is hopefully tomorrow we will see a brand new gameplay mode uh which is the assault rewards for team instance doubled this is awesome i'm so excited for this i just uh this is awesome because now that we're going to be able to consist uh we're going to be receiving more items for each team instance that's going to be super cool optimizations and bug fixes to the assistant system hopefully hopefully uh they fix most of the bugs and please hopefully they do not bring new bugs into the game I am really, really expecting no new bugs. I'm just hoping that they fix the old bugs and everything stays fine. But let's just skip to the next part of the video, which is the gameplay of the of a couple of these things. Here, what we are about to look at is the new talent system, which is only available for level 45s and above. Uh, hopefully, you will, will I'll be able to discuss that further more in, in tomorrow's update. Now we're taking a quick peek at the new upcoming hero, which is Cecilia. Uh, these are a couple of her skills, and as you can see, she looks pretty overpowerful. She looks like the warrior class, um, the warrior hero from the original Taichi Panda one. Uh, she looks pretty powerful. I'm seeing and noticing that many people will be able to, we're, we're going to be playing her as a new hero. Uh, my best guess is that she is a time hero, so yeah, she's going to be mostly for those pay-to-win players. But you know. Now we're gonna take a look at the altar, which is, um, wait, not now, give me a second, okay. We're gonna take a look at the altar, which is where you exchange time hero shards for uh, different heroes. And it's super cool, it's super efficient. You can get new heroes from there as well. Here are the upcoming mounts, which is, seems they seem pretty cool. I do not know which are the names of them, but these are just what they look like. They do seem pretty efficient, they look pretty cool, you know. Uh, I do like this new, this one that's about to come here. It's like a dragon earth or something. This one looks really cool. Uh, right, this right here seems like the new faction map which is going to be introduced. This is the most anticipated factor of this upcoming update which is the plus 10 gears and the red tier up. And a brand new attribute bonus which is the going to be for the dodge class. It's going to be pretty cool. And maybe I'll make a video on the build uh, eventually later on once the update is ready and such, you know. But for now, I just want to get you guys up to date. Now, 
what I have been told about the plus 10 gears is that they will be having a couple of bonuses and most of the bonuses are going to be plus uh, 4,000 attack and plus 7,200 health. Uh, please don't count me in with uh, the correct amount of attack and health, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be health, attack and or dodge, which is uh, pretty cool. I mean, I'm pretty excited for that, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, let's just see, you know, never know.